Okay, hello everyone. Here we are at my Halloween camp in Fallout 76. I have done a bit of rebuilding since the last video. I changed the structure that was here to be a two-story one. So now my hot tub is here. I also changed my turrets to be the Corvega ones. I have been doing the spooky scorched hunting and I've managed to get a few of the lanterns and the jacko lights but sadly not all of them. There's still a, another ghost one I'm looking for I think. People always ignore this, they always still try to get in my house. I don't know why. These Vault Boy cutouts are temporary for the event just to be like, literally go over here and not in my house. This is where I have my candy bowl. And I have put a vendor here just because you do unavoidably have to play on public servers for the events so may as well have a vendor while that is a thing and as you can see it is very well wired to the electricity supply things will be okay i did some more stuff over here I can't remember exactly what's new. I think the chickens are definitely new from last time. Oh god. This guy is still bringing me soda. Stick together like excess adhesive. So down here I tried to do something I like to do in Fallout 4 which is have a laser trip wire hooked up to a siren. Um, so I created like a little bottleneck here which usually works because uh, enemies just come through here and set the siren off and then I know that something's happening. It's right out the back here where this hole is. Uh, a lot of enemies spawn, you get super mutants and little liberator bots like shooting at my house and so my house always has quite bad health because of things shooting at it. You also get uh, rats and mole rats and ghouls all just running in and they often just run through the laser and set the siren off. Oh yeah, I have a different camp ally now. I did have him walking around in the, uh, the Mistress of mystery garb or whatever it's called because that looked quite funny on him but then I got this uh, like pumpkin-y suit and I knew I probably wasn't going to wear that much so I put it on him um, my camp has been destroyed a lot on the public servers uh, I don't know why people feel the need to do that it's like, sir, are you okay that you had to destroy some th 3D objects that I have in a video game? Are you okay? It's always good to see you around, friend. I think a lot of it was this one person who I saw was hanging around my camp for a really long time, and I was like, okay, like a really long time and I was like okay this person isn't just getting candy and I got back and sure enough everything was broken I suspect well the most charitable interpretation is they tried to unlock either my shelter or one of my doors and became wanted and then the turrets targeted them so maybe they just shot everything in return that's the charitable interpretation uh, but surely if you accidentally become wanted 
I think you can just die and then respawn and not be wanted anymore, so I don't know why you would just destroy someone's camp in response to that. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, they even came... They even destroyed stuff indoors. They even came all the way back here and specifically shot this plant. <laughs> so I had to repair this plant. I think I did have this kitchen last time, but I've got rid of the stove that actually works for cooking because I have a cauldron outside now. Still not a lot in the way of bathroom furniture. I've got plans for a bath, but it's not a particularly nice looking bath. I have yet to find showers or sinks or anything. Utility room now does have some stuff in it. And the guest room. This bed is much smaller than the other bed, I think. It looks a bit strange when your feet go through the bottom of it. My bedroom I've personalised a little bit more. I'm now the sheriff, apparently. And I have some more plushies. And also a snow globe. Okay, so down in my shelter I had quite a rearrange actually. Um, I took down the walls that I had put up to make like a room down here and I've just... gone completely to the edges of the walls now. I think I found all the Mr. Fuzzies there are to find and this random sloth. And I have just other displays of stuff that I thought was cool. <laughs> I really liked this wet floor sign for some reason. I kind of wish they would fix the, the clipping of the bears through the cave. But it do be like that. <laughs> There's some Nuka Cola My Bloods in it. Uh, I move the benches to the middle of the room. It's got the freezer. And whatever the fuck's happening there. Some weapons on stands. Some posters. It's my underground bed. And a little bathroom which only has a toilet and a bath in it. <laughs> and I really wanted a reason to use the like secret Nuka Cola door, so I just <laughs> it's on my bathroom. I can secretly go to the toilet. I think people will figure out there's a room behind it because it's just a big square in the middle of the shelter. But yeah, this is where I keep my crap. So yeah, that's my shelter somewhat decorated for Halloween. I still have more spooky scorched to hunt. Knowing my luck, I will get something really cool from one of them as soon as I stop recording this. Oh yeah, it's going Would okay you so far. Like to join my scavenger hunt. Tuesday, we're gathering. Unstable nuclear waste. 